Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, you are going to learn about simplifying fractions, or as some teachers like to call it, putting it into lowest terms. Now, what does it mean to simplify a fraction? Well, first off, in order to understand what that means, you have to understand what fractions are and how they work. And so I'm going to give you a little example here. We have this fraction one half. And if I give you this figure right here, we have a, a circle here and it's cut into two equal pieces. And one of those pieces is shaded. And so out of the two equal parts, there is one shaded. And so that is how we represent it by one over two, one half. Well, let's suppose I took that same uh, shape and I divided into four equal parts. Now I have four parts and two of them are shaded. Has the shading changed at all? No, it's still half of it is shaded, but we write it in a different way. One half and two fourths are equivalent. I can keep going and putting it into here. I have it into eights, eight equal parts, and there's four of them. And so four out of eight are shaded. Nothing has changed as far as the shading. Uh, and what this tells you is that one half, two fourths, and four eighths are equivalent. They're, they look different, they're written differently, but they are all equal. And so this is the, uh, the basis for how we're going to simplify it. So putting it into lowest terms looks a little like this. Suppose I had four eighths and I wanted to simplify it to its lowest terms, I would get one half, right? Now, how you do that, that's what this lesson is about. I'm going to show you the process in simplifying these. So we'll start with 4 over 8. Now I think of a number that goes into 4 and 8, and I know that they're both even, so um, I know that 2 goes into both of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 2. What I'm really doing is I'm dividing by 2 over 2, which is 1, and anything divided by 1 is the same value. But it looks different. 2 over 4. They're both equivalent, but it looks different. Now, 2 over 4 can be divided also by 2, because they're both even. And so after I get that, I get 1 over 2. Now, 1 over 2 cannot be simplified anymore. There's no number besides 1 that goes into both of those. And so you are done. Now, could you have done this a little quicker? Well, if you would have recognized or thought about 4 going into both 4 and 8, you could have divided by 4 over 4. And so, by doing that, we get 1 half a lot quicker. Okay, we cut our time in half. And so, both of them are correct. Both of them are effective. It doesn't matter which way you use. It's perfectly fine. Now, let's try a few more. Here we have 12 over 18. And when I'm simplifying, if I see that they're even numbers, I'm always going to go with dividing by 2. And so I'm going to get 6 over 9. Now 6 and 9, 9 is not even, so it's not going to be a 2. But I know that 3 goes into both of those because I know my multiplications. So I'm going to divide by 3 over 3, giving me 2 thirds. And there's no other number besides 1 that can go into 2 and 3, and so that is my uh, final answer. Now, could I have shortcutted this? I sure could have. Because if I would have just thought, well, I know 6 goes into both 12 and 18, I could have done that first, divided by 6 over 6, and gotten my answer a lot quicker, 2 thirds. Now, let's look at this one. And this one's going to be a long one because we're going to, uh, to start dividing by 2. These are even, and I'm going to divide by 2 over 2, and I get 16 over 32. Both of them are even, so I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to do it again, because they're both even, and I keep simplifying it, and I keep simplifying it by dividing by 2 over 2, because they're all even, and finally I get my answer of 1 half. Did you know that 32 over 64 is 1 half? Some people can recognize that right off the bat, but sometimes we need to start dividing factors. Now, is there an easier way to do this? Of course, if you can think of a higher number, it's going to shorten the process. So, for
for instance, let's say I thought, oh, I know 8 goes into 32 and 64. I could have done 8 over 8, gotten to 4 eighths, started dividing by 2 again. Let's just say that's the way I did it, and I got 1 half. Well, I shortened the process. You could have actually divided by 32 and done it in one step. All right, let's look at 21 over 28. Now, neither of them are even. I know 2 doesn't go into it. 3 doesn't go into 28. But since I know my multiplications, I know that these are both uh, 7 multiples. And so I'm going to divide by 7 over 7, giving us 3 over 4. And no other number can go into 3 or 4 besides 1. Um, and 7 was actually the only one that went into 21 and 28. All right, what about 23 over 28? Sometimes you'll get this type of problem, and it's kind of a trick question. 23 is actually a prime number, and so it cannot be divided by anything but 1 um, and itself. And so it's actually simplified. Um, right off the bat. So there's nothing more that you can do to that. I hope that helped. We went really quickly through that and um, I suggest you get a little practice on this. You might want to rewatch this and pause it, slow it down, look at it, um, and I hope you uh, succeed in this. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.